Now let's answer questions from random post at ito ay post ni Sir Donald Baoy Taron. The ratio of the area of two squares is 100 is to 64. What is the ratio of the side length in lowest term? The ratio of the area of two squares is 100 is to 64. What is the ratio of the side length in lowest term? Remember, area. So, mga area ito. Ano nga ba yung area? Square yan siya, ha? Ang area ay is equals to side times side. Ito yung square. Kung kukunin mo yung area dyan ay itong side na to, i-multiply mo lang yan, that is equals to area. Let's do solution number 1. So, itong 100, kung square root natin yan, that is 10. Itong si 64, kung square root natin yan, and that is 8. Pariho na yung mga side. Hanapan na lang natin ang greatest common factor para malis natin yan. So, ang greatest common factor nitong dalawa ay 2. 10 divided by 2, and that is 5. 8 divided by 2, and that is 4. So, ito na yung sagot. 5 is to 4. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa solution number 2, which is almost the same lang naman sa gagawin natin, sa ginawa natin dito sa solution number 1, klaruhin ko lang itong area natin. Area is equals to length times width. Pariho lang yan sa side times side. Kasi square naman yung pinag-usapan natin, yung side naman natin ay pariho lang lahat ng mga length sa sides natin. So, side times side or length times width. Pagdating sa square, square ba? Pariho lang ang length at ang width. Kaya, itong 100 na to, na ito yung area ng isang square at yung pangalawa, 64, square root lang natin yan. So, square root of 100 is 10, square root of 64 is 8. Hinanapan natin ang greatest common factor, which is 2, para malis natin. So, ang greatest common factor, 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Ngayon, dito tayo sa solution number 2. Pariho lang. 100 is 264. Ang gagawin natin ay ito yung ilis natin. Again, para malis siya, hanapan natin ang greatest common factor, which is 4. So, i-divide natin ang 4. Divided by 4 equals 25. 64 divided by 4 equals 16. So, 25 is to 16. Yan, mga area pa yan. Ang tanong ay yung ratio sa side length in lowest term. So, i-square muna natin yan. And that is 25, square root of 25 is 5. So, or 5 times 5. Dito ay 4 times 5. 4 equals 16. Square root of 16 is 4. Erase na lang natin to. Erase. Na-erase yung isa. So, square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 16 is 4. So, ang sagot ay 5 is to 4. Another post uh, regarding ratio and proportion galing pa rin kay Donald Baoy Taron. The ratio of two numbers is 1 is to 3. And their sum is 32. What are the numbers? The ratio of two numbers is 1 is to 3, and their sum is 32. What are the numbers? The easiest way to solve this I I add mo lang yan, 1 plus 3 equals 4. I divide mo dito sa 32, 32 divided by 4, and that is 8. Itong 8, i-multiply mo sa 1, and that is 8. Tapos 8, i-multiply mo sa 3, and that is 24. What are the numbers 8 and 24? Kung gusto nyo ng napaka-detalyadong solusyon nito, ito ang gagawin natin. Let n be that number na i-multiply natin dito sa ratio natin para i-add natin yan para ang sum niya ay 32. 
So 1n plus 3n equals 32. Ito yung equation dito sa problem na ito. And then, like terms naman to, so 1n plus 3n, that is 4n equals 32. Para ma-isolate si n dito, since si 4 pang multiply sa n, pang divide siya sa, sa 32. So wala na si 4 dito. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. Ngayon, balikan natin itong dalawa. 1n. That is, i-substitute natin si n kasi ang value ni n ay 8. So, 1 times 8 equals 8. Ang isa, 3n. 3 times 8 equals 24. So, what are the numbers 8? Ang isa ay 24. At kung i-double check mo si 8 plus 24 and that is 32. So, therefore, tama ang 8 at 24.